Okay, here is the gym fits. They're really healthy for you. guys so i woke up at eight o'clock today and i'm gonna be showing you guys my monthly reset routine sorry <laughs> did i just say monthly reset routine my monday reset routine i've never done a monday reset routine before but i did a sunday one like a week or two ago and i was like why not do a monday one because the reset routines are so much fun and i actually do have like a monday sunday monthly reset routine like it's actually a thing that i do so i'm like why don't i show you guys like it, i just feel like my monday one is really low-key and i've never really showed you guys it so this is going to be a fun experience for all of us i'm just going to do some yoga and meditation right now because i feel like for me personally i need to start the week off right so i need to go straight into doing my yoga and my meditation at the beginning of the week because if i don't start the week off on the right foot then it kind of leads my week to be kind of not so good you know what i mean i need to like start my healthy habits and my self-love first day of the week so that like it motivates me to continue throughout the week you know what i mean also just having like a productive monday just makes me feel so good so let's get this yoga and meditation session in <laughs> always remember to turn off siri when you're doing your meditation or else if you get a notification or just turn on do not disturb because if you get a notification she's gonna interrupt your meditation <laughs> i almost forget one thing that i just kind of thought about doing that i don't do every monday but it's just something that came into my head that i want to try this week is setting like little weekly goals for myself usually like i'll set like monthly goals um but i was like sometimes those are hard to stick to because it's like a month is a long time plus it's like kind of daunting saying you're going to do something every single day at the beginning of the month and then like 30 days passes by and you're like oh shit i forgot you know what i mean so i feel like setting little like weekly goals like cute little themes giving yourself like a week like a theme for the week and then you only have to stick for it for like monday to friday and you just make it those five days and you kind of give yourself a little bit of a challenge for example like oh i'm gonna do some sort of workout um, every day this week. Um, it's a lot less daunting than saying, oh, I'm going to be doing a workout every single day this month. Um, I feel like it's just more attainable and it kind of gives you a little challenge for the week. And I feel like that will motivate me more personally um, and help me actually accomplish those goals because they're super short term. So it's like I'm only looking five days into the future and then next Monday I can just like reassess and set like a new theme for the week. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna write down like a couple little goals here that I wanna give myself for the week and challenge myself. <laughs> for this week so i put this week's theme as um fueling my body first goal is to gym three days this week because i'm just getting back into the gym today so i'm going to do three days this week just to keep it chill but i feel like that's still a very realistic goal that i can stick to this week um next goal is drinking two liters of water hydrating myself next goal is to eat a healthy breakfast every day even if it's not like a smoothie i can do oatmeal just anything healthy to start my day and then the next thing is having no dairy because I have been very bad with eating dairy recently and it just doesn't, my body just doesn't like dairy. So um, got to cut that out. I'm going to try for this week to completely cut it out. So yeah, those are my little goals. So yeah, I would encourage you guys to plan your week as well and set like little goals on Monday. And yeah, I just feel like it's a lot. This feels very attainable. You know what I mean? For the next five days. And then you reassess in on next Monday. So... <laughs> One thing about me is that I cannot leave the house without sunscreen on my face. Like, I just can't do it. And if I do, because I forgot or that was just in some circumstance where I couldn't put any sunscreen on, I, like, literally, like, try to hide my face. I don't know. I just 
know that it's good to wear sunscreen every day, so I just feel weird without it now. I just got this new one, actually. I just ordered it from the Sephora sale. Um, it's the Kiehl's Everyday Moisturizer 30 SPF. And I've been only using it for like a day now, maybe two days, like yesterday and the day before. And I really like it. I mean, I think it has like a natural scent to it. I don't think there's any fragrance in it, but it does make my skin feel really good. So I'm going to keep trying it and see how I like it underneath makeup. But I feel like it would be fun because I just hate those sunscreens that like pill. And also I have like super sensitive skin, so I obviously want to make sure that what I get is like not fragrance. Duh. I don't get like why companies honestly put fragrance in their products because there are so many people out there that react to fragrance so it's like why even bother like i just don't get why like, i get it makes it, it smell good but like fragrance is just not good for your skin it's just honestly a pointless ingredient in my opinion i've never like used anything from Kiehl's before and I just randomly saw their SPF thing on Sephora and I'm like, oh, I'll try it I really want to try Paula's Choice um, Their SPFs look really good. A thing that I've been starting to recently do is like also blend it down my neck because I have never been doing that in the past and People have like been saying how important it is to blend it down your neck so I am starting to do that because I do not want a wrinkly neck. Alrighty, feel protected. Also, when I put cream on my face, I always make sure to run my eyebrows up like this because it kind of gives them like a laminated effect. Good to go. Okay, let's get going to the gym and it's gonna be a good day. It's so sunny, I'm so happy. Okay, here is the gym fit set is from Abel. Um, shoes are Nike. This I'm probably gonna throw on because it's probably gonna be cold, but it looks cute over the shoulder. So I have this tote bag with sunglasses because it is sunny. Okay, it is sunny outside today. And yeah, this is like my first time at the new gym here in this area. So we're gonna check it out, see how I like it. I really hope that it's as nice as the one where I used to live because that one was really nice. It's like the same chain. It's just like different location, if that makes sense. So I really hope that it's nice, but I guess we'll see today. workout it was so good that was like the first time i worked out like in a couple months to be honest like a month and a half i would say maybe just like a month i don't know but it's okay to like take breaks from working out like get to an unhealthy point and an unhealthy balance when you think that you have to work out 24 7 every single day like seven days a week like your body needs rest and sometimes if you want to take a month or two off there's no big deal out of it like you gotta listen to your body and do what you want to do because if you force yourself to do something that you don't want to do and that makes you miserable then you're not going to be happy and it's no good in forcing yourself obviously forcing yourself and pushing yourself are two different things like, sometimes i have to push myself to go to the gym but like i know that like i want to go i'm just like lazy you know what i mean but if you don't want to go and you're like literally forcing yourself and you're telling yourself that like oh you're a fat piece of shit if you don't go or you know something like that like those really rude things we call ourselves that could become really toxic and like there was a point where i was feeling really disgusting about myself because i was like ew i haven't went to the gym in like a month and a half like i'm disgusting but then i'm like hold hold on a minute what am i saying to myself here and you just kind of gotta make sure that you always just have like a healthy balance and it honestly could get hard especially if you struggle with like body image but like honestly the most important thing is that you're keeping yourself healthy and happy mentally physically in whatever aspect that is for you because it's gonna look different for everybody but yeah anyways that was such a good workout um feels so good to be back in it i'm just at the grocery store right now actually because i need to pick up some more vegan butter i've been using normal butter but I have to stop like I I don't like using normal butter so I'm gonna go pick up some vegan butter and 
that's all I have planned to pick up so hopefully I don't leave the store with 10 other million things anyways I'm gonna go home and I really want to make myself like a coffee protein shake I've never done that before but I'm craving like a coffee and a protein shake so I'm gonna mix them together and see what a concoction I can come up with it's actually so hot like I'm it's I'm sweating like the air conditioning is on I didn't even turn off the car to film this because I'm sweating like it's hot It's not just because I finished my workout, but like the Sun is so hot today. I'm not complaining about that. I love it Okay, Let's go get some water So I ended up getting the butter plus these two bars these are called RX bars and they are my favorite like protein bar they have 12 grams of protein in it, but they have like really clean ingredients. Like the ingredients are literally right here. They're really healthy for you. They are quite expensive. Like for these two bars, it was $5, which is quite expensive, but they are so good. And I'm just so ravenous right now. And I really just felt like a granola bar. It's basically like eggs, um, dates, and then like a couple other things in here. But if you guys ever are looking for like a healthy protein bar, um, I would definitely suggest these. They're so freaking good. I just made lunch. I made this coffee protein frappuccino. Basically all I did was mix double espresso with milk, um, maple syrup, and then I put in the protein powder and I don't really like it. So, I mean, it's fine. I'm still gonna drink it. Anyways, so then I did that and you guys know I've been obsessed with this lately. So, little lunch of the day. Okay, so I just had my peanut butter um, and shake. Now, we're going back out. Me and Joel are going to go on a walk because it is like a beautiful day today and so we don't want to miss out on the opportunity. And I honestly don't even have like a lot of sit down work to do today. I was just kind of answering a couple emails on my phone today and then when I get home, I'm just going to do a little bit more sit down work but i got to take advantage of the beautiful day and since we both work from home this is something i feel like is really important especially resetting for the monday i want to start going on more walks and that's like one of my goals i should have wrote that down in my weekly goals because i actually want to make that one of my goals this week is to go on a walk every time that like it's a nice day so <music> So we are unexpectedly going to the, well, I'm unexpectedly going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert tonight. Julia had a ticket and she asked me last night and real last minute, real last minute, but I was supposed to work today on set. Okay. This is a crazy story. I was supposed to work today on set and she asked me last night and I'm like, Julia, like at first I was like, yes. And then I'm like, wait, <laughs> I work tomorrow. I can't just like cancel last minute. And then I get a message and it's like you're canceled for tomorrow and let me tell you i've only ever gotten canceled like one other time before this so this is like it was a miracle because she didn't know who else to give the ticket to so it basically just all worked out the only thing that didn't work out is i got my period and of course it comes today like right after i got canceled i get my period and it's like it literally tries to sabotage us whenever we hang out or have plans for something it comes i literally barely go out and i make one plan and my period decides to show up on that exact day it's actually rude of it so i was just not feeling good at all i think knock on wood i think it's like coming down now <sighs> but it's just very very annoying when it comes at the literal worst times it can ever come like and it was two days late like it was supposed to come two days ago and it it held off for today it purposely did that and i i believe that it's purposefully trying to sabotage my plans but anyways this is my second concert that i'm ever going to in my life the only other concert that i went to is lennon stella no way mm -hmm. Oh my god, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I also got these new Sephora beauty blenders I showed you guys in a haul, but I don't like them. I really don't like them. The Real Technique beauty blenders are just superior, so I think I'm going to try to return them. They came in a pack of two, but the Real Technique beauty blenders, you really can't get a better beauty blender than that. I think Julia's using yeah. them right now. Yeah, literally this one. Yeah. They're so good. So much better, and I never knew how good they were until I tried these, and I just don't like them as much. No hate against Sephora. But I really I'm scared. Scared. I just can't see that. I'm really scared for this. I'm really scared. I'm scared. Wait, wait. Why are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Like, why do we have anxiety? Like, I'm not ready for this job right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are we taking a shot? It's a lot. I'm going to go to the hospital. Wait, I'm just going to put this in the Bronx. I don't want to spill. 
go on it. I'm sorry for it. Is it yours? Okay, wait, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. I think we're right. Okay. 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 You okay. almost can't be ready. That is really good, oh my god. Yeah. Mm. That was not bad. Not bad. Not at all. No, that was like perfect. perfect. Hi guys, so we are currently in the Uber. <laughs> we are going to Olivia Rodrigo. Hey. I love Olivia. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> the concert starts at 8 and it is currently 7.50 but she has apparently like what, three openers? Yeah, I was reading on the internet and it said three and I'm like, girl, why? Yeah, that is a lot. Like, I feel like that dedicates like a now we're... Like, I, mean, I just but want to see Olivia. I feel yeah. like it kind of makes sense because like I've listened to like her whole album and it takes me like a drive to work to listen to like That's almost the whole true. like eleven songs. Yeah, there's yeah. like not that many. I feel like she's only gonna be on stage for like maybe like an hour and an a half. Hour, not even in a full not even like an hour. Like, yeah. I feel like that's it. I wonder. Well like she'll probably like maybe take time to get through a set so like we'll work out like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. True. Um, purse from Brandy. Oh, my purse. And shoes are from Brandy. Oh, 